Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. And I'm Freddie with CJ Off-Road. This is our 2018 F-150. We built for the Ford display at this year's SEMA show. And because of the rules of SEMA, we weren't actually allowed to show you this truck until it was finished. We've actually done a ton of work to this truck, including this Addictive Desert Designs rear bumper. So today we're going to show you how we installed it. Tools you'll need for this installation, pliers or vice grips. Three quarter inch wrench, 21 millimeter socket, half inch ratchet, Since we had to remove the rear bumper when the truck went to paint, we didn't get to film it. So here's a basic overview on how to remove the rear bumper. So when this truck got painted, we took the rear bumper off to make painting easier, and the rear bumper doesn't match the theme of this truck at all, so it just makes sense to upgrade the rear bumper. So we're going to go with this Addictive Desert Designs Honey Badger rear bumper. It looks way more aggressive, it's way more stout, it's made of 316 steel. Now we're going to put it on the back of this F-150. Once you get the factory rear bumper off, which is just a couple bolts and clips, you need to bend this bracket right here for the trailer harness. Grab yourself a set of pliers and just bend it backwards to make room for your new bumper. Bend it just like that, nice 90 degree angle. Now we can put the ADD bumper on. Okay, so to install this bumper, we're gonna open up the storage compartment right here. There's a bolt hole right here that we're gonna put a bolt in. It's gonna line up with this hole on the frame. You're gonna install your bolt. Once you get a bolt through each storage compartment, you're gonna grab some friends, lift the bumper up, and then install your nuts and bolts. There's another bolt that needs to be installed right here. It's gonna go on both sides of the bumper. Once you get the bolt through, install the nut and washer on the other side. And there's one more bolt on each side that has to be installed. The final bolt's going to go right here, and to get the nut on it, you'll have to go back inside the storage compartment. Remove the factory license plate lights from the original bumper and install them into your new bumper. Line them up with the grooves. Simply push them into place. Take the parking sensor rings that were in your factory bumper and install them into the exact locations on your new bumper. Just like that. And the last one. Now you can install the sensors into the rings. Now you can plug them in. All right, Brendan's underneath the bumper connecting all the sensors. At this time, you can install your LED lights if you have any, but for us right now, we don't. So right now, our installation is finished. Okay, we got our Addictive Desert Designs Honey Badger rear bumper installed. It looks way better than the factory bumper. You can put some nice LED cube lights here and some D-rings here. And there's even a storage compartment where you can put more D-rings or shackles. Overall, it's a really nice bumper and it should only take about two hours to install. And before you know it, you'll be heading off road.